We've been chasing our clone across the citadel in English. Blah 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 blah. Citadel. Turn this thing down. So there you go. No feedback. We have no feedback. And I'm trying to figure out what to do with her. Honestly, I would rather... <sighs> right, you can see, see people that are shooting at me. <sighs> Personally, I would rather get my clone on my side. Because two Commander Shepherds, two Eleanors... She would have to change the name, obviously, because I'm not going to. Fuck her. Two Eleanors would. I mean, if one Eleanor can de defeat anyone, two Eleanors can defeat everyone. Everyone! Several people may have noticed that I disappeared for a little while. I would like to know your opinion. I did it for my health. My goodness. And it was a good thing. It it worked. I'm not right yet. What else? What the hell? Oh, here we go. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. What, what, what am I firing? No, let's go there. <sighs> Wrong gun. I mean, come on. <laughs> let's try this again, shall we? Yeah, baby. <laughs> yeah, bye bye. <laughs> why is she doing that? I don't know why she's doing that. Get the, get over here. No, over there. Over there. Get over there. Don't. Oh, it's a thing, isn't it? It's part of her thing. Okay. I love this gun. It's so cool. It blows up people. Okay. So um. can hear the music it's, it's crap it's annoying I turn the music up because when I was in like there you go that's bad when I was in nightclubs everything sounded really weird you could hear all the all the conversations really high but well and um <laughs> but there was no reason why nothing nothing worked nothing worked okay I, well, where the hell do i go over there all right fine no, 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 no. Let's try it. Oh, there's ladder. Woo! Fair enough. I don't play these games very well. Not very well at all. Which is another reason why I don't bother making streams of them. 
Oh my god, it's so annoying. So my telly, which is the large telly, I, I I can see quite well, but not well enough. Put my glasses on, and I can see okay, but not well enough. It balances my two eyes out, but my two eyes are both blurry. Whereas if I take my glasses off, one eye is really clear, and the other eye, my right eye, is blur, more very blurry. So it's like, what do you want? Do you want everything blurry, or... Your brain going ape shit over what you're seeing. I, oh, so annoying. I just want to kill. I want to. Oh, there you go. Let's kill these people. Yeah. Yeah. I love how they shatter. He's fantastic! I mean, seriously, it's just fantastic. There you go, that's what I want. No, I don't want to go out. How do. Why? Why does it do that? I was just like. <clears throat> Something is there, isn't it? But right, okay, so why does that not? Oh, so annoying. It makes no so that's why I don't put the powers to those things. It's no, it's not fair. Let's try, let's try the shotgun. There's something there. Let's go, let's go. No. Yeah, that's what I wanted. Come on. Taking my ship, I hate them. Hmm. Oh yeah. I kill you. I kill you with my superior shotgun. She appeared to die with my amazing whatever I did. Oh, cool. Look at that. So, in this little game, we have uh, the sexy AI. She's over there. Edie. In her body. And the Perfect. Perfect to Zari. My future girlfriend. My future... My, my future lover. My, the mother of my children. Or am I the mother of her children? I don't know how it works with that. Matriarchal society where you can just bond with anyone and have babies. Whatever the hell that is, she is my baby. That one there. This is why I picked these two. That and the fact they've got incredible powers. Um, I don't know where I'm going. 
I think I need to find a place where I can get to my ship. Alright. Over there. I think I've got to jump somewhere, haven't I? I mean, it's pretty obvious. No, that didn't work. Oh, it's down there. It's down there. Down there. The Norbert's engines are coming online. We are preparing to depart. Yeah, I'm going to kill all these people. Oh. Yeah, we'll go with that, mate. Oh, there you go. Down there. When we want to take off, there's a half-hour pre-flight check. They just gun the engine and go? Most of those checks are actually unnecessary. Thanks for letting me know. <laughs> oh, a bunch of things. A bunch of things I need. We, we should hurry. No shit, Sherlock. It's the crap they come out with. Oh my god. So we go in, and I'm going to kill everybody on board, apart from the people that. I mean, the, the crappy thing is. Wait, no one thinks. You were just on the Normandy. You, you fired me. Dishonorable discharge for conduct unbecoming. You kicked me off the ship with barely enough time to grab my toothbrush. Oh, you... <laughs> the toothbrush. She has a thing about the toothbrush. That's fucking... <laughs> she had this big thing about this uh, career. The, oh, the toothbrush. Yeah, that's good. That's very good. Very good. <laughs> Give me a second. <laughs> we couldn't have done this earlier because my internet wasn't working. Like a whole hour where everything went boink. Yeah, I've got to fix that. <sighs> okay, give me a second. Hmm. Okay, so I'm 53. I spent about 45, 46 years of my life being kind gentle full of compassion incredibly compassionate and being treated like a piece of shit and then i realized what was happening was the human race was going yeah mate you're a victim you are an absolute carpet i will stick this to you and then i uh, got a bit angry and i overreacted <laughs> and I showed them that really what they need to do is to really stay away from me because I will kill the fuckers and anyone that tries it so I'm trying very hard Paul what the hell no I did earlier bits bits shut up I'm in the middle of a fucking rant mate you can't shut up and then I, I, I found out that you can't trust anybody and uh, everyone on the planet has this ego problem apart from about 0.025% of the population cannot be trusted because their little tiny ego is so busy making themselves feel better. What they do is when they find a kind person, they either take the piss to the extent <laughs> they suck the planet dry or they go weakness fuck them so i i became their worst nightmare 
And that is what I am now. I'm their worst nightmare. While still being the lovely, lovely Andrew. So I'm the lovely Andrew for about 10, maybe six, let's say 15 minutes. And then I'll fucking kill you. <laughs> and I will kill you. So when I when I go on this, and we've got the wheel there, which this game invented, uh, where it asks you what you want to be. And you've got Paragon and R Rebellious answers I just want to go what the fuck because you know basically we're talking are you stupid but these things are written by people that you know I know you trainer that want me twat you without a disciplinary hearing trainer and really the first thing you grab is your toothbrush <laughs> yeah, you've said this. And someone just threw me off the ship. If it wasn't you, Cerberus cloned Shepard. I could explain more later. For now. But the character, the character of the person, it's sealed. Is not Shepard. Is there anyone still aboard who can help us? Seriously? No, I was only there and how can they hack Spectre stuff? I mean, that's just, just fuck it. If that's an easy, if it's that easy, everything's easy. Everything! Hmm. Alright. Gotta be nice to her. We nearly ended up in bed, but there's only one woman for me. Okay. You know the ship inside and out. Can you get me inside? There's an emergency exit hatch for evacuations. It's... For fuck's sake. She... You know the ship inside out. How does she know it better than you when you, the fucking you, did... Oh, my God. All right, I'm, I'm getting the impression that uh, Bioware, who wrote... Own this shit show... Bioware did not put as much effort into the third game as all the rest. I mean, I, I preferred one. One was special. Two, just tried to turn it into Call of Duty. And three, is Call of Duty with too much oh, crap happening. It just... Oh, just weird. Like a cheap Call of Duty. I don't believe for a second that yeah, any of the... Oh, the no, yeah, but what if... If she hates... She doesn't hate Rush. She's Eleanor. I created this character. I've got several games where Eleanor... No, she isn't. Arsehole. Wouldn't you rather take her down yourself? Oh, Miranda. Clever. Armory. Find her. Slow her down. I had several emails from the thing that you... Wonderfully, thank you so much for your comment the other night. <laughs> Which they stopped after like 35 minutes. And deleted several parts of it. Remind me to reimburse her for that. <laughs> okay, let's save this. Oh, I can't save it. Fuck off. Didn't you spend decades at dig sites? And then I got trapped in a Prothean bubble. I don't recommend it. You do know that Rush got their big break by backing Kiss up in their uh, in their concerts. And if you if you look online, wanker, if you look, <laughs> if you look online, there's interviews where Gene Simmons is it, oh, the guy with too much makeup. Oh, I doesn't narrow it down, does it? One of the guys with too much makeup. <laughs> it's been on reality TV. He was talking about. He used to go into their rooms, expecting to have like ten girls panting over them, right? 
<laughs> and he found them talking about philosophy. High, high on, high as a kite on like cannabis, grass and shit, but still talking about philosophy and the universe and like science. <laughs> and that's why people like me love Rush. That's why. And he's like, hey man, I just I took things I didn't understand. It's like, yeah, because they are. And then Kiss, Kiss's career compared with Rush's career has been much much better, right? Kiss is shit. I, I I deliberately started looking up Kiss's songs, and they're all shit. <laughs> and then it's like Rush. Oh my God! How I don't understand. I don't understand. Taylor Swift, she can sing. Miley Cyrus, she can sing. Give her. I'll give her. The, but it's not music. It's shite. Madonna, she can't sing, and she's one of the biggest things on the planet. It, none of the, nothing makes sense. Nothing makes sense at all. The shit we're in right now has been going for years. Because the human race is fucked, and they all need shooting, and I will shoot them, thank you very much. Oh my fucking God! If you... It, I mean, I, I like a lot of different sounds, a lot, a lot of different bands of various levels of ability, but <laughs> if you're going to make success based on talent, Rush would be in the top one. Pure musical ability, there'd be Rush... Mozart, maybe, yeah, not that fan, big fan. Bach, Thingy and Bernstein. You know, uh, uh, the top ten would not be filled by any of these fuckers, but Rush would be in there. No, they don't, and they also don't do three and a half minute songs. They they were they, they were trying they tried to force them to do that when they had the big album, the big twenty one twelve when twenty one twelve came out, and they went that be shit, and it exploded. It was like, wow, fucking hell, this is like so everyone. This is amazing, but the music industry doesn't think it's amazing because. See, it's not successful, but it's making money. Oh, shit, we love these guys. Now, make your next album have lots of three and a half minute long uh, uh, singles and make it sound like everybody else. But Rush were going, yeah, but the thing is, right, we are musicians and we're going to do what we want to do because you all are shit and we don't want to be in your shit. So we will just yeah. so forty million album sales, and that sounds great. You compare that with with I don't know, I, I can't remember the numbers, but it's like say two three hundred million for the likes of Madonna <laughs> and Kiss and shit like that, and they go, yeah, well you know you just didn't you know you didn't didn't go for the populace no what they went for was their art and music i mean you you shithead you poor fucker bastard shithead i have followed your channel so you cannot pretend to me that you're not some kind of fucking shitty artist right so you're doing that for a reason the reason is not to sell things it's to show off are you showing off you're showing off what you can do you're showing off that you can paint a stormtrooper you know you're showing off you can do what you can do which is awesome and fantastic and more than what i can do a lot more than what i can do and i people idiots like me appreciate it you're not playing to a crowd. You're playing to your art. You're playing to your 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 your, your form. You, you're playing to you. What can I do that that 
that fulfills my need to be seen with and fulfills my need to be feel, uh, seen for what I, I I love doing and that's what you do and that's your pla uh, your 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 channel you'll never have 500,000 viewers it just won't happen because you're doing a real thing <laughs> yeah, I've got a big fat arse, you're not wearing a bikini, and you're not doing stupid things on TikTok. <laughs> don't pretend you don't know what I'm talking about, you wanker. Even though you're from the South, and that means is a rally or F1 drive showing off? Ooh, that's a really good question. Can we record this shit? And we can put it on something because this is going to be deep, probably, maybe, Connor. Right. Well, it's going to have. To, right. So let me ask this question. I I, I I require answers from you to my questions to progress to the next question and then get like an idea. Is Lewis Hamilton a show off? Come on, answer the question. I could equally say, was Ayrton Senna a show off? But we'll, we'll stay with Lewis Hamilton. Lewis Hamilton, we've got a good body of evidence for. Is Lewis Hamilton a poser, a show off? Oh, yeah, but you're changing the frame of reference. You're changing the frame of reference, mate. In life. In life. Never mind, just, just don't, don't narrow it down to the track for a second. We'll get to that. I, I recognise what you're saying, and I understand it, and I will circle back to it if I don't forget, which is not guaranteed because I'm pretty fucked. But let's, let, you know, in life, would you call Lewis Hamilton Mr. Environmental Bullshit? I have sold my, I have sold my private jet while still flying fucking private. He's just not on his own jet. Fuck bullshit. Oh, I'm into the environment shite. What? <laughs> being one of the biggest users of private jets on the planet. Fuck off. Is he a fucking show off? You know the answer is yes. I mean, I, I'm not even gonna. I'm, I'm not waiting. The answer is fucking yes. The answer is yes. How many earrings does it take, and nose rings, and and Black Lives Matter, and and virtue signalling does it take to make someone a fucking show off? Tell me that. How arrogant do you need to be to be coming out with a statement that you told the Mercedes engineering team <laughs> he needed to change what they were doing when you yourself can't add up to 10. Right? And his reasoning for that was, I know how cars drive, I know what they need. But what you don't fucking need, wanking twat. <laughs> what you don't know is how to do comp computational fluid dynamics on an F1 car's aerodynamics, which is Einstein himself said it was the most complicated set of maths. <laughs> fluid dynamics is the most complex set of maths you can imagine. I mean, I, I'm, I'm, I think I'm crap at maths, maths. Compared with most people, I'm pretty fucking good at maths. And I don't even, I can't, it's not an area I can, an area I can even think about. 
what? Never mind. <laughs> I didn't understand. Compu fluid dynamics is insanely complicated, which you can understand when you think that Mercedes at the beginning. Well, you wouldn't have been in the beginning last year. Let's say two years ago, thought, let's go down this different route. Let's try something new. Let's let's do something different. Let's push the rules, right? It might help. And it didn't. And it made a car that was fast at the end of the season. But the reason why it's fast at the end of the season was because they started being able to understand how it worked all right it, it was it wasn't a problem with the car in the sense of the car slow the problem was they didn't understand the fluid dynamics of the car and how it affected how it drove which is a very 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 complicated thing the thing is, as I have heard spoken by some people in the business, there if they if they changed to uh, do you remember at the beginning of last year they had a different pod side pod, and it was okay, and then they changed in testing to the zero side pod, as it's called policy. They have effectively lost two years, two years of research into how that can make you faster development. I mean, everyone talks about, you know, you get a car that's fast at the beginning of the season and shit at the end because they've got, not got the resources to develop it over the season. Well, just imagine that Mercedes has spent two years now developing a concept that doesn't work that puts them two years behind because the fia regulates how much of everything you can do to make anything happen so they're they're on the back foot they're not on the back foot they're on the back passage they're in their arse they're wiping their own backside with their hands they cannot catch up conceivably right that's why they've had to stick with the same thing because it's like we, we, we make this work or, or wait till the next rule change you know until everything resets we're always going to be behind because no matter how clever you are no matter how good you are you're always going to be working within the bounds of human ability and human ability cannot just jump two years ahead you've got to have a rule change you know i mean the only the only person and, and it pisses me off pisses me off like oh my god <clears throat> they talk about this oh my mercedes had the jump on everybody with the engine yeah you know why they had the jump on everybody with the engine and the aerodynamics is because of ross braun ross braun understood that their team could not catch up so he knew he knew the rules were coming up because he was part of the process he he knew the double diffuser was coming up and he tried to tell them without revealing double diffusers he tried to tell them there was a weakness in the rules for this area and they went no 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 two teams two teams vetoed his opinion right and the two teams were renault and red bull let's have a guess what two teams didn't have double diffusers and it was Renault and Red Bull. No, not Red Bull. It might have been BMW Williams, but it was definitely Red Bull and another team. And then they're the ones that put the um, they put the they put the complaint into the FIA because it, they're all backstabbing, money grabbing, dishonest bastards. They don't give a shit about anything else. They only give a shit about their success. It's welcome to the world, you know? So, <laughs> Ross Braun saw a loophole, which was his skill. He was... It, seriously, that's his skill. And then he saw the same loophole coming up 
by develop getting Mercedes to develop an engine that would fuck everybody over, <laughs> you know, come 2014 or whatever the hell it was. <laughs> Somehow they've managed to rewrite history, just like they did with COVID, you know. It's not from a thing in China. Yeah, and now they're going, oh, it's from a thing in China. Yeah, you've ruined a thousand people's businesses and a thousand people's lives by saying it wasn't from China and then it is from China and you haven't reinstated those people or even apologised to them. But yeah, apparently now it's from China. You know, say exactly the same bullshit. <laughs> Ross Braun is the reason why Mercedes is successful today. No, there's no, there's no fucking about. What he didn't have, he missed. He missed the political opportunity that Toto Wolf took with Oh my god, I've forgotten his name. See, this is what the problem. Andreas his first name's Andreas. Andreas Andreas Nicky Lauder, Andreas Nicky Lauder, they together went to the Mercedes. I mean, politically, they blindsided him and went, yeah, 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 this. Blah, 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 and they took the thing off of him and he fought for a bit and then he went back. Now, of course, he's, I mean, he's, he's too clever to not have a good career. But the point is that he set it all up. And then immediately people go, oh, it's too successful. They're winning too much. We want somebody else. Last year, Red Bull. Fucking all over. They're pissing all over everything. And then now this year they're going, because Red the Red Bull car with Adrian Newey, who is a certified bloody genius and really humble. I, I mean, I've read his book. I've I've read Ross Bourne's book and I've read um, Adrian Newey's book and th they are not people. How about now? Is this sound now? Okay. Is, if, I don't know if there's sound now. If there's no sound now, I'll just end the stream. But this is why I, I started the channel Ruse Rants, but then I, I had no reason to do anything in it. I, I can rant really good. Really well, really well. So, you know, the likes of Lewis Hamilton. Oh, Max Verstappen. All of them. I'm just sick of the lot. I can't. I, I have started listening on the radio again this year, but I can't watch it. 
because the coverage is shite you don't see anything you see st uh, the idiots and and even when you're listening they don't tell you anything they just witter about socks and oh i just i hark back to the days late 90s early 2000s when everything happened better it was just better i can't the racing mate is fine the racing's brilliant as always the problem is the coverage is shit the coverage is it's based on uh that netflix thing you know drive to survive it's like dra drama we need drama well i'm i'm looking for racing yeah but we need drama well we need jeopardy and drama well there's plenty of jeopardy mate when when alonso's going for the, an outside move around a turn and somebody's blocking him off and all there yeah blood drama yeah no, that's a drama why well, we need emotion emotion lots of emotion for the uh the big brother generation lots of emotion ah yeah, yeah advertising money so have you ever noticed the very first question anyone asks is you won this race how does it feel fuck off i i, I turn off i literally just press pause and go fuck off i don't care how does it feel i i, I would love to be one of those people who go it feels shit what no you feel shit mate i won this race it feels shit and they go huh? Huh? we don't understand what are you talking about huh? Huh? yeah stupid question you anchor winning's brilliant now ask a real question wanker what the fuck you know what i mean seriously it's just what what how does it feel if you lose it feels shit if you win it feels great who cares everybody knows that tell me something tell me something like well you know what uh my tires were being ripped to shreds but my team was amazing they had a strategy they worked something out where we swapped to the medium tires and and then by the end and then my skill my skill and i'll no, you mean. good my skill i may say oh, yeah. this track you there is a couple of places you can overtake and i was so much faster at the end i could i could get past and they didn't do anything stupid and i got past and i won or alonso well I, I qualified in like fifth got a shit start and alonso is the kind of person who would say this <laughs> because he doesn't give a crap but they don't put him on they don't they don't air him because he they only air him when he says something really controversial when he talks about racing which let's face it he's one of the best at he's a match he's a match for hamilton i want him in a car as fast i want alonso in a car as fast as the red bull and let's see who wins verstappen or alonso because head to head with with verstappen doing his usual tricks of knocking people off alonso will kill him he will kill him he will literally knock him into the weeds Verstappen has no fucking idea what he's come up against until he comes up against Alonso. Oh my god, I'll just press a button. Piss off. I d oh, I'm playing fucking Mass Effect. What are you on about? Oh, Paul Wanker. Why are six people watching this? I'm not even doing anything. Six people are watching this and I am ranting like a twat. All because of Paul Serality. Oh, right. Okay. Fuck off. If you lasted this long, you can at least give me a bastard like.
I like likes. You don't need to... Whoa! What the hell? Who's shooting at me? Oh, I'm having that thing. Oh, I don't know what that is. Oh. Oh, someone's shooting at me. They're behind me. Why are they behind... Uh, it's below me. They're below me. Oh. Oh my goodness. Things are underneath and I can do nothing about them. They can fuck off. Why are they doing that? People are throwing grenades at me. What the hell? girlfriend there she is running battle running battle running battle through my thingy I don't remember those being there oh my god Okay. Oh. Yeah, fuck you, Anka. No, no, this is uh, PlayStation PlayStation 4. It was free. This is the legendary edition. Don't you fucking dare get my girlfriend, you wanker. Why is this not working? I love this gun. It's a sniper's rifle. Yeah, I've got I've got GC7. Yeah. We'll have you connected again soon, ED. Thank you. Let's get to the cargo bay. Right. Okay. My I um All right. So the the story is is this. Uh, I, I was given the PlayStation 4 by somebody, I, I don't know if you've heard of him, Hugh Hadrick. And I was given the game Gran Turismo Sport by Hugh Hadrick. And then I was given the game Gran Turismo 7 by Hugh Hadrick. Because he's desperate for me to drive brilliantly <laughs> in, in all of these things. Uh, I bought ACC and Assetto Corsa and stuff like that. Then I was given, <coughs> I was given brilliantly by Mikey, GLR Mikey, if you know him, I was given a rig, uh, not a rig, sorry, the, the um, Logitech G29, brand new, out of his, I, I think he was probably really pissed, because I don't know why he did that, but I still to this day don't know why he did that, because I... I <sighs> There was a reason why I put in my description back in the day that I was badgered into sim racing. I'm not that interested. I, I love driving. I'm, I, I really love driving. And I've always considered myself to be a pretty half-decent driver. But um, sim racing... I mean, GT7, I just... G, sorry, GTS. I could not... I couldn't... I'd, oh, shit. It, it felt like a game and not like a car. 
GT7, when it came out, felt like a car, and I loved it. I really loved it. And Hugh decided that he was going to get me a play seat challenge. And that was great until the beginning of December, when it snapped on my fat ass. All, all 208 kilos of me. No, 108 kilos, I'm not that fat. 108 kilos of me. 200 and something pounds. And the back legs if you want to call them that the back part they just snap flat so i'm still working out i can buy i can buy another one for nearly 200 pounds i can buy an alternate one for 230 pounds or i can buy um a sort of a, a more robust rig for nearly 300 pounds or much much more robust rig from the same place for two three yeah, £330. And <laughs> so I'm working out how to fix it with some solid bar to... to I'll, I'll chop the tubing and put solid bar in and, and, and pillar drill a, a, a hole for the, the crossover and all this kind of stuff. When I get that done, I'll, I'll be driving again on, on Gran Turismo 7. OK. Other than that, I'm using motion controller. I have never, ever been able to... Yeah, that's because I've turned myself off. I left everything, Paul. I left everything because I was having issues. And... um I don't know what people have been saying to Matt, but Matt often disappears off of the internet because of his own mental health issues. Everyone expects me to just keep going. You know, I just don't. I don't understand it. You know, I, I was doing. I was doing a lot of commentary because people expected me to do it, and me being me, I kept saying yes, and then I would get pissed and hurt people and then um thinking what are you doing this for and it's like well you know i find it interesting that you get the most shit from people that have never had experienced their own problems real problems and i have had a lot a lot of problems that no one knows about <clears throat> and i'm not talking about snowflake problems I'm talking about real problems real real problems so and I talk too much which is great when you're doing commentary but shit when you're doing everything else <laughs> so um, I disappeared I, I, I kept my promise I did I did season 3 of EDTM Kept my promises. A T80 wheel. Is, uh, is that like a uh, Thrustmaster? The T80. Thrustmaster? But um, I've had a lot of people... I won't say badgering me. Yeah, I, I, I kind of figured you did, Paul. <laughs> and we've had a few conversations, chatty chatty, and uh, and and you probably understand the Andrew talks a lot because <laughs> I'm pretty sure I gave you a headache in all of those conversations. Yeah, T H. That's what I thought. Well, I mean, I've I've read a bunch of stuff, but I haven't got the money to sort of play with them all, you know. And I I didn't buy these, so I'm just really really absolutely completely if if mikey ever listens to this which he won't if mikey ever listens to this i am just gobsmacked that he ever bought these to me and he was one of the people that was really really disappointed that i that i left but i left i left to keep me alive and i left to keep other people alive around me i mean i hurt some people i hurt some people that I care about. Chrissy Vines, 
Phil, you know, th these are people that I have the most respect for and I, and I care about and I won't, I won't, I won't submit them to me again. I won't do that. I'm not, I'm not that kind of guy. I'm not that kind of guy. I don't want fame. I don't want fortune. Fortune? No, that's not true. I want fortune. I just don't want fame. And I don't want anyone to have to deal with me in my worst times. All the people that I thought would deal with me in my first times have left me. And I am now alone. And so I don't want to force that crap on anybody so that that is that is the story that's what happened anything I've done after that including very misplaced attempts to do it was more about learning how to use OBS which frankly is not as good as people think it is because it doesn't seem to be able to pick up things I don't know I, I wish I knew why it didn't pick up cameras I mean, thank you so much for your kind words on that stream about my camera placement, but it took about a week of me pissing about to, to get it to recognise two cameras, and it still doesn't. Tonight, I spent two hours trying to get it to do the same bloody thing with a, a seven-port hub, a powered hub, plugged in, and it wouldn't do it. No, it just wouldn't. But, uh, but I'm thinking, oh, it's because it's in the hub. No. I plugged it into everything else, and it still wouldn't. It's like OBS... Uh, the computer saw them, <laughs> but OBS Studio didn't. And it is like, okay, this is so hard. There must be something out there that understands what shitty Windows 10 is doing, and... <laughs> actually... Actually runs it. I have lost three people watching this. It might be because I don't want to fuck off. That's fair enough. <sighs> Paul, do you know anything about PlayStation? Because I've been trying to find a headset that Bluetooths to my PlayStation like Sony wants it to. I've got a headset, but it, and I have... Oh, what is this? What is this? Observation. Hectic. <laughs> if it just recognised everything and worked, it would be perfect. It would be brilliant. I mean, its, it's front end is uh, amazing. Right. Okay. Let's. Um, I, may, I may have to go to the loop. So I'm going to. I'm going to um, press mute, and I'll be back in a minute.
There you go. We we done. There we yes. Yeah, I mean, and if it kind of, but the thing is, it's a, it's a free platform, so you can't complain too much, can you? You can't complain too much. Oh, I've got four. It used to be three. That's good. Um, this has changed a lot. I mean, that wasn't there for a start. What the hell? In like, an ten minutes. It's nuts. And. A lot of shit has disappeared from there, which I never understood had, why it had to be there. Oh, here we go. Oh, 50,000 credits. Someone's disappeared. Someone's disappeared. Why have you disappeared? Is this because I'm playing the game? <laughs> the ranting. I, yeah, you'd have to wonder. Oh, okay, so the security thingy didn't work anymore. So you have this crappy bloody. Yeah, I'm going to kill you anyway. It doesn't matter how much money you got for things. Merc PDA. Assault rifle, thermal scope. Okay. So they would have killed my security people. Three credits? What the hell? Three credits? What's that going to do for me? There's fucking guns there. Oh, why do I go now? Elevator. Of course I do. Elevator. Let's feed my fucking fish, man. Hey you. These people are showing disrespect to my home. My body. It is unacceptable. Oh, with a BD. I intend to kill Shepard's clone, Agent Brooks, and anyone else in my way. Yes, like I said, hard. All right, so where are we? Where have we gone? That's not my gun! I've got a better gun than that! Oh, we're down on there. Oh, we're down there. Okay. Where's my dog? The dog's going to attack you because he doesn't know who you are. Creepy. You want to stop shooting up my ship? It's not your ship. Yeah, it is. It will be. I've taken your name, your Spectre rank, even your fingerprints. Mm-hmm. And then you left me to die. Only I didn't. You think fake fingerprints are going to fool the council or hack it? How's that big plan looking now? Ah, oh, fuck off! Hatchet squad to the shuttle deck. No, I'm not. I missed the bloody thing. No, I'm, let's do this again. Load. Try and remember that there's a, a bloody. You get these things, bitch fight, awesome. It's not a bitch fight, it's a blowing the shit out of someone. We should be friends. We're the same but person. We were both brought back from the dead. Oh, I don't want to do this all again. What the fuck? Yeah, my girls. Let's do my girls. 
always my girls. My girlfriend and what? my... I wanted to go. <laughs> I know what you mean. I wanted you to go too. But I... Joker will come back for you, I promise. I genuinely wanted all of you. Why have I... Is, uh, I'm not sure the Krogan could fit in between, but somebody like Ashley could fucking sit in the middle seat. Why Why are cars not five seaters in these, this thing? Um, yeah. <laughs> okay. What the fuck? A Talon 1? Seriously, I've got no mods on it. What the fuck? Have I got no mods on that? Blow the crap out of the mods. Optical something. Uh, increases. Uh, I want two times the increases of the thing. Uh, increase power damage. Maybe that one. Maybe the power damage one. No, I'm replaying... I'm replaying the bit where I missed clicking Sorry, uh, uh, where I missed getting the um, Kill the fuckers with. Oh, armor talkies, that's good. Three defense matrix decoy. Oh, what the fuck? Did that not work? Oh my god! This is why I have to restart shit. I'm gonna do this all again. Oh my fucking god! This is why I hate short. I swear yeah, I hate restarting levels. Citadel flight control and get them to deny the departure request. Try all the comm lines in the area, champ. Probably. Right, there was a um renegade. What do they call it? Renegade shortcut. Renegade thing. You gotta pull the button. I'm okay. Her eyes off. <laughs> yeah, th this is so badly written. The idea... They've got underboob, though. Have you seen that? It's the underboob. Uh, they've, they've got... The idea that they can just fucking hack into this artificial intelligence, which is... You still fit for duty? Oh, oh man. I'm gonna blow these fuckers to hell again. Get in line. Well, whatever you do, hurry. If the Normandy gets to FTL, we may never see her again. It's not gonna happen. Okay, Citadel systems are targeting the car. Any closer and they open fire. Thrustmaster? What the hell, Paul? Thrustmaster! Get a grip! Get back and pick up the others ASAP. Just because you're on the SAF, don't mean you can't speak any English. What spell? 
Hmm. Oh God, I've got to do all this again. This is really annoying. And it's really fucking shit. I just want to... Oh, my God. I'm not using the same bloody thing. Oh, my God. Oh, no. Oh, fuck you. Die, you little Bernie bastard. What am, I, what am I actually playing with here? Let's get some of that. And then let's get... Okay, I'm using that. Fair enough. Yeah, well, yeah, whatever. Keep that. Fuck off! Died. Fuck off. I've done all this shit. Ugh. You know why? Because I'm using the wrong weapon. Hmm. Let's give it that. No, it can do that. And I'm going to go for the... Go fuck yourself, rifle. Because I will kill you. Yeah, she's dead. What the fuck is going on here? Kill you, I kill you dead. <clears throat> okay, let's go for pistol that fires it easy. Okay, let's just try that. That works. I like the explosive shit. <laughs> yeah, I love the way they go. Yeah, I don't like that. Let's try this. Yeah, let's do this a bit more. Okay. Ah, fuck you. I've no idea where I'm going. No, oh, they good. They're not going to depart, though. They're not going to depart. I know this because it's part of the. 
Gun the engine and go? Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> I just love how they just I just love how they completely did disintegrate. What the fuck? Where, where, where are we going? Oh yeah, baby. We should hurry. I, I kill you. I kill you dead. Oh, you're off. Okay, thanks, Paul. I'll see you soon. So this seems like a very good place for me to say <laughs> sod off, go to bed. I don't care, and I'll see you soon. Oh no no! Just just after the argument with Thingamajig. Yeah yeah, I didn't. The toothbrush, the fucking toothbrush. Okay, so this is where I say good night, good morning, go away. <laughs> the toothbrush. Uh, honestly, it's just like the toothbrush.